Good morning, everybody. It's Silvestro, and welcome to another episode of Let's Chat. We're into about our fourth or fifth episode now, and Let's Chat is all about losing weight for the very last time. That's going to help you to move forward. Now, my method or my way of losing weight is really for those who want to lose weight for the very last time. There's no right or wrong way. I can certainly pass on my experience and, and, and help you along your way. Now, I, I want to set the record straight that I'm not a coach, but what I do have is experience. So look at me as more of a mentor. I'm able to anticipate what lies ahead losing weight myself 16 years ago, 80 kilos, has given me a lot of insight, but more like, it's more like over the years, I've been able to really understand and it becomes a lot more clearer. I can really define the truth and the bullshit out there that people try and pass through people and tell them this, and this is the best way of losing weight and keeping weight up. There's always going to be different opinions and different ways in, in, in losing weight, but I'm all about losing weight for the very last time. So not just about losing weight, but how do I stop and how do I get off the roller coaster in the merry-go-round for the very last time? So you don't need to dread that every Monday you need to feel bad about yourself because you have gone off the scales or you have done things that you weren't happy with. So, so it's all about last time. Very last time is the key word. Very last time are the words to keep in mind whenever I talk. And when I was probably about eight years old, up until 32 years old, that, that were the years in which I was overweight and fat, basically. I like to use that word, not in disrespect, but in reality, because that what I was, wasn't. And throughout those 25 years, I've been overweight. That's how much experience I have of being overweight. 17 years is the amount of years keeping weight off for the very last time. The duration that it took me to lose the weight is anywhere between 18 months and two years. So look at me more as a mentor than anything else. That's the way I like to look at things. So today I want to talk about what is stopping you. And when I say what is stopping you, what are you, what's, what are you resisting? What are you resisting from losing weight for, life, for, for, for the very last time? Your resistance. What are your blockages and what is stopping you from being able to get through the barrier? And I like to look at or share my experiences, but what basically were my barriers from losing weight? Was it lack of knowledge or lack of belief? Was it my belief systems, the people around me? There are a lot of resistance around us when it comes to doing things. And <clears throat> you need to understand that we're all human. At the end of the day, we're all human and it's natural and it's something that we need to accept when it came to losing weight it really stops with us what is stopping us and I have this AAA I've broken things up for us today something that is easy to remember and it's awareness we need to be aware of our situation. Now, when I was overweight, I was aware, I was aware that I was overweight. I was aware that my health was at risk, I wasn't fit. 
I was quite aware of that. There is not in, we're not in denial of, of that. We're aware, we're aware of a situation. Being aware in my second A and accepting that awareness that you're in that situation is another story. We can be aware of it, but do we, did I accept that? Because the moment that you accept something, you're at peace. The moment that you accept something, you can move forward. Because until you accept it, you can be aware of it, but you can still be in denial or pointing the finger or blaming someone else for your situation. And you hold on to that anger. That's what I mean by accepting. It's that in between. This is basically where you accept and this is where you are aware. So if you're in between, that is where you need that that's the resistance we need to unblock or, or find out what it is. Once you are aware of what your or whatever you're resisting and make a commitment to stop. So whenever whenever you, you find yourself procrastinating or complaining about something that you don't want to do, there's always meaning behind it. I used to put things and hide things or just, oh, I don't worry about it, I'll deal with it later on, put it in the cupboard, put it on the carpet, but that problem is always going to be there. It's always going to be under the carpet. It's always going to be in the cupboard. If you don't deal with it, it's going to become bigger and bigger and bigger to a point it's so big that you don't know what to do with it. And it's hard, it's complicated. So the sooner that you're able to accept it, then the sooner that you'll be able to commit to it as well. So each time you have resistance from moving forward and losing weight for the very last time, write it down. Then once you write it down, make a commitment to yourself, a promise to yourself. And in this way you you'd be willing to, you know, turn your mind, change your mindset to to recognize that. So the first step when it comes to ways to stop yourself resisting to move forward is to be aware of your situation. That sweeping under the carpet is not going to resolve your situation. Dealing with it, which takes a lot of courage, I know that, but dealing with it is you moving towards accepting and being at peace of what is stopping you from moving forward. Until you deal with it, it doesn't matter what diet you go on, and I don't like the word by the way, or whatever method you take upon yourself to lose weight, you're always going to have that resistance against that. So let's do that. And I found that whilst I was losing my way. And when you accept something, how do you feel? Oh, a load comes off your shoulders. A, a, a load comes out of your, of your mind. And you're able to then think, okay, I'm more relaxed, I can deal with this. So accepting is 
is really, really important for you to be able to move forward from whatever's stopping you. So once you accept it, once you think, yep, okay, I accept, the, I accept this is the reasons why I've been procrastinating or holding back from losing weight for the very last time, how do we move forward? Well, the only way you can move forward once you have, once you're aware of the situation and you have accepted it, so once you've accepted it, then you can make commitment to it, is action. My third A is action. Because action, doing rather than saying, produces movement or motivation. That's the only way that you'll be able to get things done. <laughs> Simple. Let's check in in case I have any messages from anyone in regards about the video. Okay, I can see it right here. All right. So let's talk about action. What is one small step or one actionable step that you can take today that you, will get you one step closer to you when I get to? So action. Action, without action, like I said before, there's no movement. Who do we have on board? Someone's watching. <laughs> so let's move forward about what is stopping you and what, and what we need. So we've, we've, let's recap what we've spoken about so far, because now someone has come online. So we need to be aware of the situation, we need to accept the situation, and then we need to take action. And action is where the magic begins. It doesn't matter how small the action you take. Because by taking that small step, by committing to what it was that you accepted, it's going to give you momentum, and momentum builds momentum. And when you build momentum, another bit of magic occurs confidence, self-esteem, you get belief in yourself that you can do this. So if you promise yourself today, and what was stopping you from your resistance, and you finally accepted that you weren't moving, so you've committed to 10 minutes of movement per day, and you keep that promise, so you have accepted it, and your commitment is to do 10 minutes per day. And then you start with action. And then each day you're doing 10 minutes. Then you look back after that one week, and you or that one day, and then you find yourself that you have achieved it. You have finally committed to the action because you're aware of the situation, and you've accepted it, and, you, and you've been able to move forward with it with action. And there's two other things that you need to be with this as you're moving forward, as you're working through your, your barriers and your resistance. You need to be patient and you need to be persistent throughout this time. Patience and persistence, wow, what those together? <laughs> Is, it's not easy, we're human, right? Because we want things straight away, we want our results right now. We're sick and tired of being in the same situation for so long. 
and, and, and persistence is still keep on moving forward when you don't get the results as quick enough as you would like but sometimes you don't get any results and then you might change the way you're doing things but in the beginning you don't want to change too many things you, you want to keep on what you're doing right now you want to be more persistent and trust that what you are doing is working by, by sticking to the basics. And when we, and one of the reasons why we do resist, we want to move forward, <clears throat> is that we tend to procrastinate or think about things quite often. And procrastination makes it easy to think hard. And when you think hard, things become harder. And this applies for anything at all. So let's go back to being patient and, and being persistent at the same time as well. Do I have any questions? I'm just checking. I like to check to make sure that if anybody's online that I do check the question section. Okay, now there is it. So we've gone into about 17 minutes of this talk and we're basically talking about the resistance and how we, you can use my triple A method, which is what I used, is to be aware of the situation, to accept the situation and then to apply action. And then whilst we're applying action, we need to be persistent and to be patient. Now all this stuff is great on paper and it's great in our head. So how do we keep on moving forward and how do we keep ourselves disciplined and motivated and, and on track when things don't go right? And that is why I put together the Ultimate Weight Loss Planner, which is a free download, which I'll put a link to this video. Because you can track your progress, being what you're eating, how you're moving, what you're thinking. You can keep it, you can track things monthly, weekly and daily and see how you feel. What is the advantages of tracking and logging information down? Well, you can, you can always go back and you can analyze how you progress for that day of that week or for that month and areas in which you can improve upon or you can identify what triggers or, or moments that are stopping you from you know, losing weight for the very last time. That's the benefits of tracking what is, what's happened with you. Did I track? I certainly tracked. I actually, back in the day, I had a journal, so each day I would write how I felt, what I ate, how I moved, what I achieved, and that kept me going. So keeping a journal is the same way as tracking your progress and looking back at each day and, and giving yourself a pat on the back when you are moving forward. What am I all about when I come as a mentoring? When I mentor people, I don't tell you what to do. I'm there for you to understand what's in your way, what's resisting you from moving forward. And together we uncover what it is or what they are. There could be more than one that's resisting you. So we start to look at how we can address them and we can move forward. And I spoke about this in my last video. Are your goals support, are your, is your environment supporting your goals? And I also touched on about 
our self-belief. When I was growing up and at home, we were told that we had to finish off the food on our plate. So that's when I was eight, nine years old. And I carried that right through until my, until I lost weight for the very last time in my early thirties. So it became a habit that I would not, I would not leave any food on my plate, even though I wasn't hungry. So that was a barrier, that was a resistance in me losing weight for the very last time. The moment I was able to, I was aware of it, which I was aware of, of that, and the moment I was able to accept it and then commit to changing that, that was one of my resistance in losing weight for the very last time is that I would finish off my food on my plate even though I wasn't hungry. So, and obviously that was putting an extra weight on me. When you also lose weight for the very last time and you've made these changes, you also need to be flexible. And what I mean by flexible, if you find yourself actively resisting taking a, taking a, 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 a run a day, after a day, it could be that you could, you know, that you know that I need to really adjust things would be more flexible. So be open in trying different, different things. So we talk about, so for example, exercise, and you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over, and you want to, you're not really getting the results there, then be flexible and try another form of movement. But don't do it too quickly. Try and stick to what you have committed to yourself and be patient and be persistent for a longer period of time before you move forward. So, do we have any questions about how we can overcome and move forward from the resistance that we're having? Yeah, this one wait for the very last time, it's, I just look back at my journey, if I can share that with you. Let's talk about that. And did I ever think that I would be the way I am right now? No. Every Monday was a diet day for me. Every Monday I wanted to try something different. When I look back and I think about it, what was it that was stopping me from losing weight for the very last time is I was in denial and, blame, and I was blaming other people for for who I am, for what I was. I was aware of that, but I couldn't accept it. I couldn't accept the fact, fact that I had to deal with my own demons and deal with my own problems before I was able to move forward. So I was having this love-hate relationship with myself. I wasn't able to deal with it. And and so I was fighting with myself. I was I was fighting against myself. And I wasn't being my best friend. So I was talking myself down and that was pretty bad because it's a that inner fight. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. And I really had to work through a lot of garbage in my head and a lot of blockages. And really some really old and some beliefs that I had that was you know embedded and ingrained in my head. I had to really work through them. 
But of course, that's all I knew. So I, st I had to start to replace those self beliefs that I had for so long with new ones. Being and, and, and that was a very slow, slow process. Replacing this, yes, okay. Didn't have to finish all the food in my plate. I had to replace that with something else. To, it's okay to leave food on my plate. Because that's not helping me move forward. It's actually that was stopping me from losing weight in the first place because I was putting extra food in my mouth. So where that belief come from in the first place that you can't leave food on your plate? So, so once you deal, once I was able to deal with my my beliefs and replace them with new beliefs, it's it's like replacing old habits with new habits. We all want to know why should I replace that in the first place? Like when someone tells you something, do it this way. Well, okay, so actually, you tell me to lose weight this way. Why? So you, we all need reasons. We need a reason why behind something if we want to do it or change it. If someone's telling us, well, yes, do this and do this and do that, but why? What, what are the benefits? How it's going to help me? Why is your methodology or reason behind what you do is going to help you move forward? So really focus on that. Really focus on, on, on yourself. Don't compare yourself with anyone else or compare your, your journey or because we don't know how far in that person is in their journey or what what the resistance and what they've had to change along the way. So we can't really assume or be aware. Everyone's is on their own journey at different stages. It's like when I go for a run, right? Because I'm quite competitive. And I'll run in and run in and run in and then I see somebody ahead of me thinking I want to pass them because that's the way I, how I push myself. Or if someone's trying to chase me down, do you mean I don't know whether or not that person ahead of me is at the five kilometer mark or 20 kilometer mark. I might be at the one kilometer mark, so I'm a lot fresher, and that person's already ran 10 kilometers. Do you know what I mean? We don't really know what stage someone else is at their journey or how far into it they are. So don't catch yourself in you're comparing yourself where you are right now with someone else. Because that could be one part that's causing your resistance of moving forward is when we start to compare ourselves to someone else. And that could be one way in stopping stopping you from losing weight for a very last time. Another reason that could be stopping you from losing weight from last time is from your past experiences, your past attempts to lose weight. Because they haven't worked in the past, so why is this method going to work this time? That could be stopping you as well. And this all comes down to your belief system. Your beliefs. That is the key, or the reason, what the whole system that's stopping you from moving. So by working with me, together we discover what are your resistance, and then replace old habits with new habits. Replace old beliefs with new beliefs. And we do that in stages and we do it step by step. Because there was no easy way out there is no quick solution and we do it step by step, habit by habit, belief by belief. And we do this at your pace, at your time, because we are different how we accept and how we move forward in losing weight for the very last time. So when it comes to losing weight for the very last time, and we have barriers and resistance from moving forward. Think of my AAA. Being aware of what it is, accepting 
what it is. And once we accept, then we take action. Because action produces motivation, not the other way around. Because by having action, that gives us that momentum and that belief and confidence that we can do it, is where the real magic starts. And you are the magic. I hope you enjoy this episode of Let's Chat. It's always coming up with ideas and ways in which I can help women lose weight for every last time. And this is, this is one of the methods that I used when I was losing my weight and was finally able to break through and lift off and be the change. And that, that way I was able to transform and lose weight for every last time. And I still use this method now, not for my weight loss, but for other areas in, me, in my life in which I like to improve, is awareness, acceptance, and taking action. Until next time, keep on living your best life so you can start losing weight for the very last time. Thank you.